In the cold light of morning, the singers arrive one by one to prepare for Fidelio. They warm up their voices, then try on their Zant costumes, the pelts provided by the Commandant. sensibilities of our audience. Perhaps you will inform me how I can express myself with four arms and how, conceivably how, can I achieve a projection behind these wads oh, and folds? Yeah. The skins smell quite badly. I think the whole idea is ridiculous. There will be no argument. These are the costumes for the performance and I will brook no insubordination. Your contracts are quite specific on this point. You are not required to risk your health, but a certain amount of discomfort must be expected and tolerated cheerfully. I will not put up with temperamental outbursts. Now then, everyone, the word dungeon is not to be used. We substitute the word desert. What difference does it make? We sing in German which the local beast can't understand in the first place. Our aim, Mr. Scantling, is for faithfulness, for a basic intensity. If the scene represents a desert, which it now does, then a falsity is committed in referring to this desert as a dungeon, even in German. Do I make myself clear? The meter is changed. Die Wüste der Bugferlies. You must do your best. a shame after you've done so much to help. You did arrange that the local folk should come to the performance. Oh yes, they know all about it and at three o'clock they'll be here. With luck I'll be back for the last act. Maybe, maybe, maybe the Zants are waiting for someone to bring them over. They're a bit dubious of the open ground if you recall what Bolson told us. I'll find them and fetch them over. <laughs> Alas, my enthusiasm led to a most unfortunate occurrence. By mistake, I encountered not the intended audience of dignitaries, but instead the band of rogues and outcasts. It was these I led unwittingly to their seats in the auditorium. singers retire to the wings, leaving Dame Isabel alone on the stage with me.
Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to our little performance. You are about to see the opera Fidelio by Ludwig van Beethoven, one of our most accomplished composers. We bring you this program in the hope that some of you may wish to learn more about the great music of Earth. the rogues sit in stunned silence as their honour is insulted by the cast in the pelts of their ancestors and the solo soprano waving a blasphemous yellow scarf. Bolson bursts in and is aghast, but too late. Finally, drive out the sense. <laughs> <laughs> 